Hello everybody! Welcome back to Diane's Diamond Painting Journey and how is everybody doing today? I hope you're doing good. It's a dull day over here in Belgium for us. Probably going to get a bunch of rain. I think we're actually doing the fall things now. <laughs> it's about time I guess. <laughs> oh my, so I say hi to my subscribers, all the new. Thank you very much. I appreciate every one of you. And if you're new here and have never seen a video of mine, well, today we're, I'm going to do, and I'm begging from a budget company, a budget friendly company. Say your words, Diane. Say your words. And uh, if you like what you see, you can hit the like button. Anybody can hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. And if you really like what you see, you can. Hit that subscribe button and help my channel grow. Alrighty, let's get to it. So today I have, it's actually not um, diamond painting. It's from a company called Paint by Number Day. Now that would lead you to think that it's a paint by numbers, but it's not. It's actually a cross stitch company. And this is the second time that I've worked with this company. So let's see what they got for us. Let's see. We have a Santa Claus with, it looks like a little elephant type thing and a kitty. And it is 27 by 31, says there. So that must be the whole size of the piece of uh, fabric. It's cotton fabric, cotton thread. There's a needle contained and instructions. Oh, no, it's a mouse. It's a Santa Claus with cat and mouse. There we go. No, I like this really nice plastic bag. Because then you can uh, just keep everything inside while you're doing it. And we have instructions for cross-stitch on the back. So now this one is a 14 count. So it'll tell you to use two threads with a 14 count. How to choose your thread colors, they explain it here. Um, you're going to choose by symbol on your canvas. And even how to, uh, well, an unprinted canvas, but that's not what we're going to do it today. And your embroidery descriptions for all, like a whole stitch, half stitch, quarter, three quarters, continuous. That means if you're doing a whole row of one color on a cross stitch, how to back stitch, how to cast off. And how to make a French knot. I used to do that one time. Cleaning and maintenance is okay. After you finish the whole pattern, this will make sense when you see it. After you finish the whole pattern, put the cloth in water below 30 degrees for more than three hours till all the pattern disappears. Wash it in clean water again. Then dry it by leaving it flat. And like when you leave it flat, like just make sure you like pull it so that like the say the top is not like this. You know what I mean? Like make it straight. I know that from other times. Um, leave it, uh, dry it by leaving it flat in a ventilated place in order to protect the threads from being damaged. Please iron the artwork on the back uh, with steam filtration until it becomes flat. Alrighty, so, so here we have our picture, and, oh, I like that. So here we have our picture. This is actually plasticized. I like it a lot. So here's the top part of our um, pattern, and there's the bottom half. Right, so we got, he's upside down. Then you got the head of the mouse and the cat. Down here you got the body. And here's our picture again. And here are all our um, threads. Okay, so here are all the threads that we're going to use to make, um, say, X's with or whatever. And then we have, these are all the colors we're going to use for our back stitching. 
See, they have the DMC codes on them. You can't see that because I'm not showing it to you good enough. They all have DMC like they do in diamond painting. Oh, these are all three quarter stitches. These are full stitches, I do believe. And this is a back stitch. Let I look. Three quarter. Yeah, these are full stitches, which a full stitch is an X, and a three quarter is like this, this one. And back stitching is what it is. So here we go. What one thing I love, absolutely love about the budget company cross stitches, the, the budget company, budget friendly cross stitch companies, is that they separate the yarn for you. Because I've known now here your needle is in a, a bag, which I love because it's not out loose. And here are all the numbers. 1 to 15 is your colors. Yep. Yeah. So, this is one piece of thread. But what you'll do is you'll take that one piece of thread off. And this is like, I think, six strands probably. And you'll use only two strands of this one piece of thread. So you don't you don't cross stitch with with this whole thick piece. You'll just cross stitch with two strands of this piece, and you'll do that for everything but the back stitch. Back stitch is usually just in usually, as far as I know, uh, usually just in uh, one strand. So to have them all separated for us, so this is very beginner friendly. All right, and now we have our canvas. Let me show you now. Here's our canvas. So this is what they mean by a printed cross stitch. Your, your uh, colors or your pattern is printed on the canvas. What I call a regular cross stitch, there's nothing on this. You just have your guidelines. And um, you do that. Oh, I'm thinking this thing. Okay. We're on it. We're not going to do the background. No. We're not going to do the background because there is no. No, we're not. We're just doing the picture. So, therefore, when we do our soaking, all of this will come off. All this stuff here will come off because we don't need it anymore once we have it done. Now, what they do though. Let me see about this one. Oh. Huh. All right, so let me. I'll explain all this on this one, then it won't be so bad on the other one. This is a number nine. So we go down here to number nine. Number nine is pink. Even though this is purple. We're going to use the pink for number nine, which corresponds over here to number nine. I'm confused. It says number nine is pink, but over here, number nine is green. Wait now. Hmm. Now I'm a little bit confused because that is the little mouse and he should be gray. Let's see, this is O2. O2 is red, O2 is red. But over here, O2 is red, okay. Maybe I'll read it wrong. Oh, that's not a nine, people. Sorry, that's a three. <laughs> three is the gray. Yeah, that makes sense. 
So uh, this one actually does it by the right colors, by the look of it. Like it says six here, which is a red. So like it, this is going to be red also. Uh, that see this particular color will be here, 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 here. It's not as difficult as I'm making it sound, maybe. And I won't be able to do any of that one for you for like a finish for the video. But maybe one day, sooner than later, I will be able to um, I will be able to um, get your out, Diane. I'll be able to do some for you and uh, show you how it goes. How's that sound? I haven't cross-stitched cross in a while now, though. Let's see. We'll see what, what the odds will let me do. Now, so I won't have to explain all the things to you on the next one. That's why I went in more of a detail with this one if I could get it back in the bag. Hey, if I could get it back in the bag. Maybe if I had put it in one by one, it would have been a little bit easier. Struggles real people. Alrighty. Item number two is this beautiful pumpkin with an owl on top. It says 35 by 35 centimeters. It's a 14 count over here. Now this one comes in not such a nice bag. Different companies. Because I mean they don't buy all their patterns from the same company. So this is plasticized on the back too, so it will take a beating. So once again, here we have our pattern, which we can't read anything down bottom. But again, they do have the same thing that was on the back of the bag over here. I'll show you how you do your knots and whatnot. And again, you have, okay, so this one is symbol driven. Only difference. So you're looking for the symbol, like that. the 158 will be a, a, a stroke. Like, let me see something here. Let me find. Okay. See that blue line here? Oh, that's number one, 158. Okay. It's not. Aha, uh -huh, that's why I got this one to show you. We have a blank canvas. So what you do is you mark your centerpiece, which this is, yeah, it's been folded. Very good, all right. So usually when you have a blank canvas, you'll start your first stitch in here. So how you can do, how are you gonna find that? You got, um, it should be marked right now, 90. No, that's not going to do it. Oh, there's two horses walking up my street. I just looked out my window. <laughs> I'm not even lying to you. Oh, my God. So you'll find the middle in between these here, follow the lines, and that, that will be your first stitch. Once you do that, then you can um, stitch wherever you want because then you're actually doing a real count across stitch. So they sent us uh, some needles in a little fluffy, on a, they're actually stuck in a little fluffy ball, which I love. That's a thread, um, a threader for your needle. And there's like one, two, three. Jeez, there's, there's five needles. And this uh, little like a thimble thing to put on your fingers so when you're pushing the needle. You don't get a sore finger. Now this one looks a bit different with the thread. Let's just see. OK, 
Okay, so it didn't come on a card, but each one of them, each one of the strands has actually got a little tag on the top to tell you what color it is. So it's not separated the same way. So you have all the you have all the different tags here. So it's not separated the same way, but it is still separated for you. So you don't have to worry about fooling up your colors. I don't know if you can hear that. But my cat is purring. She sometimes purrs herself to sleep. <laughs> All right, guys, if I could only have gotten the, the camera over to for you to see the horses run up the street, it would have been wonderful. Now, they weren't going up by their own. They were with their riders. They were just walking them. There was a stable in the neighborhood. Oh, prices. I should tell you prices. Uh, Santa is um, $4.39. And Halloween Owl is $6.58. And I got two more things that you can use while you're done. Oh, well, you're done in painting. Hello. So we have our, what they're called the Retro uh, Stainless Steel Scissors. four eighty six. dollars Now, aren't they pretty? Because, oh, and they have, they have a, a guard on the top because they're really pointy. So everybody needs a good pair of scissors when you're doing your thread. And actually, most cross-stitchers will tell you that if they're using this pair of scissors for their thread, it uses they use it on nothing else but just the thread, just like if you're sewing, right? And this other little thing I got is, it's pink, it's folded. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Now, I don't know why the mirror is there, okay? I don't know. I hope it's not a big glare. But it's a phone stand. And it will hold your phone. It will hold the phone that I am actually videotaping this on. Uh, and probably a smaller version of a tablet. And why I got this was... Um, if people like to use Pattern Keeper, you can put your phone here and use your pat Pattern Keeper. Or if you like to uh, watch things while you're cross-stitching at your table or whatever. And it comes with, um, and so I'll show you the back. So this just folds in. This just pushes down. The feet just turn. There you go. Because this stand can go up to here, like that. Now, it did come with some uh, little, um, if you can see that, that's hard to see. Little round pieces, and there's two square pieces. Whoops. So on the round here, you can put it over the screws there, and I'm assuming the square pieces we can put right here where where the, where the phone would sit. Still don't understand the mirror though. <laughs> there you have it. And the phone stand is three seventy three, and the scissors are four eighty six. So there you have it. We have one printed cross stitch. We have one blank canvas cross stitch we have the scissors for our thread our needles are already in there we don't need anything else and a stand to put our phone on or your maybe a little tablet for pattern keeper or uh, your phone to watch something while you're or listen to something while you're cross stitching thank you very much uh from paint by number day and i will also put down below i'll link all these items and there will be a fan coupon for promotion of um, eight euro off, which is almost it's probably about seven eighty in 
USD and it's valid for one month and you can only use it once. So if you um, want to place a bigger order because these things are not really expensive, I said budget friendly, um, place it and save your money. Yeah. And actually, too, if you spend over $50, you have free shipping. And you don't have to pay customs. Yahoo. All right, I'm going to let you go. And uh, we'll see you the next time with whatever I got. We'll find out. First, here's your big hug. And thank you for being here. Don't forget to leave a, me uh, leave me leave a, a like if you like and a message if you want to. See you all again. Bye-bye.